How's it going everybody? My name is Neil and recently I've lost my Battle Cats account. Don't ask why. But as I progress more into the game rolling gotchas and all of that, it had me thinking, how good are these rares that I keep getting? So that's what we're gonna do today. S being the best and F being the worst. All right, let's begin. Our first rare, Pogo Cat. You know Pogo Cat, he has his own like knockoff game, Pogo Go Go. In my opinion, I just think Pogo Cat is the definition of a rare. Simple, but a bit quirky. Listen, he's not the best. We can agree on that, right? But give him what credit is due. He's very good at like early game and you know yeah i like i i know that after like empire of cats chapter three he, he's hella expensive but so what so what his true form he becomes a, a semi-viable meat shield that like comes useful time to time and there's really no reason why you gotta hate on him he's the perfect definition of a simple b tier all right perfect now the next rare is wheel cat i never smile anytime i pull him you pull him for the first time and then you wonder why you name wheel cat has a mustache for his face but you don't worry about that you read the description it says massive damage against aliens right and it has perfect because he has beaten Empire of Cats and now you just introduced into the future. So then you go into, into the future and then you beat the alien doge and it's so good, right? And then you encounter the fucking hippo and what does he do? He's a D tier. All right, Salon Cat's next, and here's where we part ways. I generally think Salon Cat is not an A tier, but an S tier. Listen, listen, listen. People always talk about the fact that, like, oh, nice, no, Salon Cat is so expensive, the 900 cents. So what? She has amazing survivability, an amazing range for a rare, and huge damage, especially when stacked. She knows she's worth the 900, so without a doubt, I'd say S tier. All right, Jurassic Cat is next, and okay, listen, I think we can agree on this. He also belongs in the S tier. The best metal killer without a doubt no matter what like cat tornado soba cat yeah those are amazing units but you can never ever go wrong with jurassic cat he outranges all of the common metals as well as his crit having a good percentage so i'll say it once and i'll state it again s tier as well okay now it's viking cat and what do you want me to say about him Genuinely, what the fuck do you want me to say about him? Nobody has ever used Viking Cat in an actual scenario. People be claiming it the 50 plus 80 level, like Viking Cat is like ha actually has some true potential. But at that point, I just want to question if you already got him at like 50 plus 80, I just haven't you already beaten the game? I don't care about him. This motherfucker actually pissing me off so much that I put him at F tier. While we're at it, let's just put Swordsman's Cat at F tier. Seriously, when have you ever used these two units? There's like 50 million other units that counter red even better, such as Row Cat. I can't. I'm not talking about you! Both F tier. You'd think after hating this anti red unit, you'd believe that I'd put Pirate Cat as F tier as well. But I'll give him benefit of the doubt. Listen, the only reason why Pirate Cat will ever be brought up is because of his wave immunity and that one specific stage where you have to knock back the red rhinos rather than kill them before the assassin bears spawn and kill you. C tier. All right, Thief Cat. Now, I'm gonna have some little bias in here, but he's like one of my personal favorite rare gotcha units in here. He was my first ever unit that I ever true formed. Granted, he was dog shit, but come on, he was, he was my. My little thief cat. Now, as an actual unit, he he's not that good. But I've heard that if you true for him and level him up enough, as well as upgrade him with the talent, he can actually have some potential. Kind of like a mini can can with the area damage and like the smaller cooldown. Now, yeah, yeah, you have to do all of that, level him up really high, and yeah, you have you heard me talk terribly about Thor cat because of that situation. But so what? At least he has some like wiggle room for like potential. My key cat, I could care any less. I'd put him at B tier as well. Oh, <laughs> Bishop cat. Wow. Okay, you now. Now y'all are gonna dogpile on me, but I don't think he's good. So what if he can like slow down a ton of like floating enemies? He has a terrible range. The fuck is he gonna slow down? The angel gory? I'll give him benefit of the doubt. Whenever there's a floating melee in the in the stage, yeah, of course I'll use him. But so what? He only carried me in that angel cyclone stage and nothing more. I'll still put him in A tier though. Okay, fortune teller cat is next. Okay, Shaman Cat is next, and god damn, I love him. Whenever you see potential usage for him, it's like the funnest stage ever. You see like the big floating bun bun coming down, and then bam, frozen by a shit ton of shamans. I will not speak any further, he also belongs in the A tier. Alright, our next rare unit is Witch Cat and all. Oh, <laughs> I mean, what do I have to say, man? What do I <laughs> I'll tell I'll tell you this much. She's an amazing red anti-red, you know, amazing crowd controller and all of that. And you know, I I I'll I'll say me personally, I'll put her at B tier. Hell live it A! Archer Cat. Archer Cat is the true definition of a glow up. Back in the old days, whenever you used to roll Archer Cat, it was immediately bad luck. But ever since the talent, he's actually gained the potential. An amazing melee zombie killer. I have never used him, but so what? He earned my respect. I'd put him at B tier. Cat Gunslinger! 
What? Good counter against Relic Bun Bun and the Relic Cyclone. What else do I have to say? Do you really want to slow down your black kangaroos? Do you really? The tear. Still kind of next. I'm dead. <laughs> Get your stupid early ever. Finally, a good unit. Ramen Cat. Okay. I think everybody can agree with me. One of the best of the best units ever. You have the cheating wife combo. Perfect. Perfect. He's out. He's automatically a perfect meat shield. Hell, I'll even say better than the dual erasers. Recently, erasers have been getting their ass handed by the 200% wild dojits. But with Ramen Cat, you would level him high enough, they can actually take a, a bunch of hits. And his special trait, resistance against Angel. God damn! Angels such as like the Gories and all of that, heavy hitters. But the moment you spawn in a Ramen Cat, that 300 cents is a huge investment since you can stall the Gories for a good as minute. And that's not even ex actually exactly. He damn deserves to be an S tier. <laughs> Murkat! Another S tier. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even try to bother here. It's kind of difficult to explain. He's basically like a melee, like huge heavy hitter, but against loading, he kind of becomes like a meat shield, you could say. Once again, you bring in that research combo on your loadout, and damn does he become an incredible meat shield. Damn, it's so beautiful just huddling up your cameraman together just for it to hit the base in like one second and destroy it. Once again, another S tier. Here. You see, Pablo, those two, they're meat shields as well as incredible hitters. Wow. Psycho Cat. There's nothing wrong about Psycho Cat. He's, he's a fairly good anti-alien counter. You never really use him whenever you counter alien thoughts. Are you just going to use like any other? But whenever you use him, he does his job. Nothing more, nothing less. Another B tier. Get your ass in here. Rover. I'm mixed feelings about this. You know, he's supposed to be a specialist meat shield, but rather than having resistance, he's given strong against. Oh no, you just find ways to piss me off, don't you? I mean, I guess it's not that bad. Like his typical H HP without the without the strong against it, so it's, it's viable. He's cheap, so he's kind of like, can you really bitch about the fact that like you know, oh he doesn't have enough HP when he only costs like 270? That I, I'm telling you, that strong against really does something terrible for him. If it was resistance, then I I I don't even really think it would be like an S tier. Even then, I still think he's an A tier in my heart. Gardener Cat. I cannot recall any moments where Gardener Cat has actually frozen a zombie. It's like the same level as like Wheel Cat, where like it's just. It's, mm, go in D tier. Okay. Even though I talk terribly about Gardener Cat, the same cannot be said with Welterweight. I will say this right now he is one of the most underestimated rares ever. He actually does his job correctly. Unlike someone, Welterweight comes into clutch and just like, you know, amazing counter against like the zombie cyclone, the big thou snakes, the zombie kangaroos, just any zombies that bury really far. He belongs in A tier. Fight me. Woshu Cat is what Rover Cat wishes he could be. He's resistance. What? How can you go wrong with him? Generally, how can you go wrong with him? If it wasn't for Woshu Cat, our asses would have been handed by Dabu. Once again, another A tier. Finally, last but not least, we have Matador Cat. I, I really love the concept of the dodge ability. It's, it's so unique. It's, it's like simple. Yet, yeah, it's like a, a big game changing, you know? We have units such as like Brainwatch Cat, Matador Cat. That's all I can think about. But even though she costs like 540, she's amazing, she, without a doubt. And giving her that Aku Street just. She's always a hit or miss, but if you upgrade her enough, most of the time she'll always hit. I'll say this she belongs in S tier. She's an amazing unit against Aku and somehow found its way to be a perfect counter against one of the most power crept traits red and we're finally done with the tier list i just want to say you know I, I know some of these units may be a little biased and stuff but at the end of the day we can all agree that that the best belong in the best and the worst belong in the worst 